I am decluttering towards a new life and today I'm going to be decluttering our two guest bedrooms and don't sit down because also the furniture is leaving. Set yourself up for success. You need uh, three bags or boxes, one for giveaway, one for put away, one for recycling. So if you are ready to get cozy minimalist hygge with me, let's dive in. Diana Demmerich here, ra ra ra. This week's power task, if you're following along with our cozy Christmas planning, let me just bring you a wee bit closer. Uh, we are working on uh, guest bedrooms, kids bedrooms this week, and I'm getting ready for a visit from my uh, brother in Edinburgh and my sister-in-law in, in Scotland. So I'm, I'm gonna be going through this today and I've got a whole ton of stuff to show you, but let's start here. I, I will be your timer today and if we haven't met before, I am a routines coach, cozy minimalist, uh, fly lady expert and I'm here to motivate you and just walk you through things. So I'm, I'm going to start with this uh, dresser drawer here in the guest bedroom <laughs> and I messaged my, my brother the other day and I said you don't need to pack your, your slippers because I've still got your slippers from the last time you visited. It's been a few years. Uh, if, if you haven't seen my videos for a while, uh, Mum died, um, sadly, over the summer. Uh, there'll, be, there'll be videos coming about that. But anyway, I'm, I'm just glad that my brother um, and his, my sister-in-law can come and visit us. So we're, we're going through this and I'm just getting it ready because I'm going to be cleaning this place later and putting the finishing touches on the room. So the slippers, yes, those are being kept. And I've got a, a drawer down here at the bottom with stuff for them and stuff that I'm getting ready um, for them to take back to their grandkids for Christmas. So that drawer is okay. Next drawer, this is where I have some guest towels. That is looking fine, but I know, that, I know there'll be something in here. Oh, and something that was un underneath the dresser is a pair of scales. And these have really seen their best. And we, we never use scales. Do you have a set of scales? I mean, I can weigh myself other places if I ever need to, but I've, I've been the same weight for years. Okay, those, those are just going to the recycling. And I think I've also got some paper recycling here because I've got some uh, maps of Copenhagen. I mean, everybody has, uh, you know, um, smartphones and Google Maps these days. I think I'll keep the, the two books about Denmark. Oh, there's a third one. Xenophobes Guide to the Danes. That that I'll keep. Uh, and one one of the maps, because sometimes it's quite nice to spread it out and say to visitors, you know, that this is where to go. But I don't need this one can go. Oh, that's have you ever been to Copenhagen? Have you ever been to La Glace, our oldest uh, conditorie, um, uh, special cake maker to the they're all family, and they've got hundreds hundreds of different cakes but I think I can let go of those as well because my brother and sister-in-law I'm pretty sure they, they went they've been to the glass a few times okay so all all of those all of those can go I'm going to keep this one because this also has Malmö you know we're just across the water from Sweden just 30 minutes by train we've, we've got the summer house on the south coast of Sweden okay so this is paper recycling this is staying I did used to have on the wall here, um, a list of um, things like the Wi-Fi code, the telephone number of the neighbours, but I think I can let that go now. So that frame, um, that can go to uh, the charity shop or I'm, I'm not sure I'll take it to this week's swap party. I'm going to a swap party later on this week. Woohoo! And actually today's uh, sweater, you will recognise this as a swap party one. Okay, I've got various... Um, uh, extra toiletries, you know, like an extra emery board. Um, I'll, I'll leave that there for my, for my sister-in-law, but I mean, she can borrow anything she wants. I did have this one for putting candles and stuff on. That that can go. Decorative tray can go. Ooh, getting quite a little pile already. I've got um, a lamp. Yeah, I, I, and most of the stuff for the guest bedroom, I just keep it in the drawers until there's actually somebody staying here. Like, the kids will occasionally sleep over. Flag to welcome our guests, that can stay. A wee rabbit. 
And what else? Um, tissue box, that can stay in there for now. Oh, this I think I can let go of. It's like one of these night lights, but no, none of us require that. And we actually have a sensor light in the corridor. So if anybody goes into the corridor at night, the lights come in, uh, go on underneath the, the bathroom sink. You've seen that, haven't you? It's fantastic if you're like postmenopausal and getting up in the middle of the night to, to go wee wee. Right, so that, that one can go as well. Woohoo! Right, up here. <gasps> Nothing up here. And up, up here. And this is actually furniture that came from my dearly departed Danish father-in-law. Uh, I've got um, a lighter for lighting candles, uh, a pen and a pair of scissors. That's also always useful, I don't know, for, for guests. But this one, I, I put it on just because to make it cosy while we're decluttering here. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I think I can let go of this candle holder because I've got nicer ones. And as I said, once I've done my declutter today, I can think about what I want to put in here for my uh, brother and sister-in-law coming. Fake plant, that, that can stay for now. And then let's get over to my big list. So from the two guest bedrooms that we have, Hubby and I have, have looked through things and we're hoping to move into a smaller place in the centre of Copenhagen next year where we're downsizing and there's quite a lot of furniture items that we're, that we're not going to move with us and we're just we're just moving them out now and one of Sue's kids just bought an apartment so so I've been sending her messages saying do they want this do they want that so the green chair from the other guest bedroom that is going also the set of shelves here kind of behind me that, that is going to sue. Uh, we also had uh, some shoe storage from the hall cupboard. That is going to the charity shop. I asked them a ladies group, nobody wanted that. And also a clothes reel, which was down in the basement. And you remember that hubby, he's working on his uh, books in the basement. He's um, sorting through those. Uh, also from uh, the kids, we had a balance board. And I sold that in my ladies group. My daughter got the money for that. So that was great. Uh, a little metal cabinet that had been used uh, like for the office and also as a little side table. I've given that to my friend Dawn from uh, Boston because she was needing it for her son's room. All good. <laughs> what, what more? Oh yeah, there was more. Uh, my friend Dicla, uh, they often go camping with the kids. And I said to her, oh, I've got some inflatable mattresses and sleeping bags and she also took a couple of memory foam pillows that we had in the other bedroom and we, we didn't like them it's the kind of thing that I think if I took it to a charity shop nobody's wanting kind of used pillows but when it's a friend and you know where it's coming from so so those have gone oh and I finally plucked up the courage to get rid of um, some old diaries, planners that I had. I mean, these are going way back. And, and do you hold on to them? I mean, it was fun to have a quick look through and I thought, no, I'm, I'm not taking those to the next place that we live. And my, all my notebooks from when I was working in Luxembourg at the European Court of Justice, the, the European Supreme Court, I, I've, been, I, I've been holding on to those. I, I don't know why, it was just a sentimental thing. And I thought, no, there, there was just one day I thought, today's the day. And Vibika said to me, you know, my bestie Vibika, she said, well, you know, you, you can always keep one and, you know, let go of the rest. And that's what I've done. So all the notebooks have gone. They've gone into paper recycling. And I've kept one in my memorabilia box. Oh, and there, there's stuff behind us on, on the bed. So let's go through that. And let me know what you are decluttering today. I hope I'm inspiring you because... And I've really realised, like, since mum's death and, um, you know, we're, we've been empty nesters for three, four years now. Both, both the kids have got apartments in the city. We're, the, the, the things, the best things in life are not the things. And I'm just really enjoying having less stuff to manage and clean around. And even when, when I'm putting on my clothes, you know, I... I um, filter down the, the, the colours that I have in my wardrobe. I'm just feeling so much better for it. Uh, anyway, on an update on the water bottles. Remember when we were in, I think it was when we were in the kitchen, 
did you know water bottles have an expiry date? The, and if you look at the top of the water bottles, okay, I'm going to need my, I'm going to need my reading glasses again. You'll see a little uh, circle with a number on it. This one says 17. That means it was produced in 2017. And this Scottish one that I picked up at a swap, do you remember this one? And it is cute, 2013. Now, water bottles have a shelf life. They expire, just like we, we can expire. All, all of these are out of date, so it, it's kind of dangerous to, to, to be using them. We haven't used them for ages, so those are going into recycling. There we are. One, 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 two, three. Have you got water bottles? Do you like water bottles? This was also um, from uh, my daughter. She didn't want to keep it anymore. It's, um, what do you call it, a diffuser. And I've got my little tiny Muji one. Let me just grab it. This is one that I got from uh, the family for my Christmas was a few years back uh, and it's a portable one USB uh, charging and it doesn't need any water in it you just put a few drops of um, you know essential oils and I can use that in my office or take it with me if I'm traveling <laughs> if I wanted to do that and when I'm going through my routines doing my evening routine or doing my morning routine and this is a really good one because hubby's not keen on we, we don't use any scented candles and he doesn't like the kind of uh, excessive uh, smell, smelly stuff. So, so this one is ideal for me. So the other one, uh, I'll actually, I'll take this to the swap. I'm sure probably one of the ladies would like that. And it's Fly Lady Zone 3 this week, which is the bathroom, one other room. That's why we're doing uh, the guest bedrooms or the kids' bedrooms. But I did have a few things in the, um, the bathroom. And you know, these shower things uh, I, I don't need to keep it and for the amount of times I actually use it I could just put a towel around my head while I'm having a shower if I want to keep the the, the water off my hair so this one is going I had two uh, dry shampoos I don't use them that often anymore I think this one may have come from one of the swaps so that's going to the swap these are just going to go into the recycling it's do it's perfume um refillable perfume ones but they have seen better days one of them is a chanel one and the other one is a uh, hermes faubourg 24 but this is me you know kind of fantasy life thing i'm not going to buy another of the tiny little refills for that it's it's super expensive and it's pretty bashed up now so those are just going into recycling have you got a ton of perfumes remember don't don't keep them out on display because they go off very fast i only kind of have like one perfume at a time and i keep it in my uh, dresser drawer and and you may want to check up on your perfumes because when we were uh, decluttering mum's house mum had some stuff and one of them was uh, some perfume sashi things. And I thought, oh, you know, I'll just use it. It smelt absolutely rancid. It had gone off years ago. So don't, don't be hanging on to things. Things have, like, like the water bottles, have an expiry date. No, nothing lasts forever. Oh, and from the office, I had some notelets. I'm not going to use them again. They're some nice notelets. And I think I've maybe used like two of them. But I thought maybe somebody at the swap might like to have those. They've got um, the envelopes, little recipe cards. I I'm not going to use them again. Ooh. And more storage boxes. Those are beginning to mount up in the basement. They're great. Those are, we'll be using those for when we move. And do you know what these are? Now, these are stickers that say 12 and a half. What, 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 what would you use 12 and a half for? I had bought these for when hubby and I had our copper wedding anniversary. Now that's a Danish thing and you, you have the anniversary party 12 and a half years after you got married. And I've always, I always thought, why, why on earth have uh, copper? Well, I, I suppose it's in case you don't get, you don't make it to the 25 years. Hubby and I have been married for 26 years now, going on 27 maybe. Uh, so the, th those I'm also going to take to the swap. Maybe somebody knows somebody who's coming up for a copper wedding. Oh, and a few last bits and pieces. And as I said about um, 
Reducing number of colours that have in my wardrobe. I am a type one for Undressing Your Truth. That's what I use for my um, capsule colourful wardrobe and my style words are colourful. Oh, a complete blank there. I'm having one of those days. Hold on, it'll come back to me. And I know many of you are probably shouting at Diane, this is, uh, let me see. Oh, I got a uh, colourful, chic and cool and cool as in a uh, kind of hip. And the winter, winter uh, scarves, we're really into winter scarves now. I got the winter tires on the car yesterday. Have you been procrastinating about that? It's Wednesday and procrastination day. And these scarves made it through the last declutter, but I, I, I can feel now, no, I'm, I'm not gonna wear them. So, so these are some of the ones that are staying. I've got quite a few, I've also got a, a nice uh, cream, a couple of cream scarves, but they, these ones, these ones are part of my collection and these ones can, can go. I've got the kind of uh, Doctor Who stripey one. I've got uh, this kind of uh, aqua turquoise one, but it's a bit kind of too small and two uh, yellow ones, kind of brighter yellow and a more uh, banana yellow. So four scarves are going. Woo and did you see my one hour declutter of my wardrobe? Well, it, it seems that I can find more to, to let go of because I also did the one hour declutter of Christmas decorations. We're now down from four, four plus boxes to like one and a half plus uh, boxes. And this t-shirt, I realize I'm not going to wear it this season. And maybe next week I'll make a little video showing you the outfits that we'll be wearing for this festive season because I've got quite a lot coming up. Uh, a hoodie. I've realised that the zippered hoodies are not me. I like uh, sweatshirts, uh, but not zippered hoodies. So that one is going to the, to the swap, the Jingle Bells t-shirt. This one is just actually fresh out of the, the washing machine. It was um, a Reebok training uh, top, but I, I, I wore it at the weekend, you know, when I've been out doing my uh, running. Now it's getting a bit uh, cooler. But I don't like it. It kind of is annoying with the little um, zip right at the top. And I've got the other white one that I got from Sue, which feels nice and soft. So, so this one, I've washed it and that is going back in the bag to the swap. Whew. Oh, oh my word. I, I, I hope you had a cup of coffee or a, a glass of water while you, you were watching this or working along with me. I'm just really pleased to, to get these things uh, decluttered move them on to somebody else who is going to use them and love them. And now that I've got the place decluttered again, it's going to be super simple to clean this place and get it all ready for my brother and sister-in-law coming. Woohoo! And if I've been a wee bit of encouragement to you today, I hope you will uh, return the favour. Give me a wee pat on the back. I would love it if you could subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Woohoo! And I'm well on my way. I don't do any sponsored content and everything I do, I do myself. So yeah, I, I enjoy making these videos, but it's always nice to get a pat on the back from you if, if there's anybody out there. Let me know what you have decluttered today or which area you're working in. It doesn't have to be Fly Lady Zone 3. Just put one pom-pom in front of the other. So all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the decluttering hoogie be with you. And I'll see you very soon with a rah, rah, rah. Okay, bye for now.